<laughs> I'm taking a chance right now to walk on this bridge, the old suspension bridge here in Maruga. Ooh, what's up my Train Bago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Train Bago Vibes. So in this one, we are down Maruga. We're just going to take a drive down here, explore whatever else it have here. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome. I am Rajiv and we are on the Rocha Douglas Road. We're going to swing onto the Muruga Road now. Yeah, so we came from this direction. Now, if you have seen my double something on the Napa Maya, Maya Road, I would have shown you the way from Princess Town side. But the road to take to come down on the Muruga Road. And right now we are approaching the junction and... Oh my gosh, that's a doubles man there. Well, you know we, we had a sample. Yeah, let me just show you the doubles I just got at the corner there. It's like us father and son doubles triple. And doubles is decent. The channel not that running for me, like how I like it, but it's flavorful. The bar is tasty. And well, I took slight pepper, so it's adding to the flavor. They're not too, too hot. Just right. I mean, the drive continues. This one, we just take a drive down to Maruga. Check out whatever stuff we see along the way. You know, I had to be careful, you know. I told the man slight, but I also have to remember that a decade ago, right, there was a pepper that came from Maruga. You will know it as the Maruga scorpion pepper. And a decade ago, it was one of the hottest peppers in the world. I mean, I think now something else came and overtook it, but that is not going to take away from how spicy it is, or hot, as people would call it. So we ain't reached Maruga proper. We still on the Maruga road right now, heading down to Maruga. You know, I always thought the Cocoa Museum, when when they say the Maruga Cocoa Museum and stuff, I always thought it was in Maruga proper. I didn't realize it was like just before. One day we'll come back and visit this Coco Museum, which appears to be under construction at the moment. But right after the museum is this interesting monument. Maruga was one of these first spots where it is said that Christopher Columbus landed his ship. So this is where he would have first encountered the Amerindians, I guess. So seeing that we have the Coco Museum that we just passed there, right after this is this statue of one of the first people, I'm not sure who he is. Looking to see if there's any info around. Nope. All right. The drive continues on our way to Maruga, Trinidad, South. This is like the most centrally South part of Trinidad we could get. That was cool though. We'll definitely come back and do the museum one of these days. And if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below as well as subscribe. You know, subscribe and hit that like button. There are parts of this road that's just horrible. I will definitely may have to change my shocks or something sometime soon. Wow. Now, I know I haven't been here in a while, but I still didn't expect the roads to be so deteriorated. Anyways, we press on. Now, I never intended for this video to involve any food whatsoever. But you know me, I saw $10 chicken roti heading down to Moruga. Your boy had to stop and buy it, you know, we had to check out this roti. Behold, the chicken roti. So I'm just going to open this up to show you all what it's like inside. Normal thing, we're getting real roti videos. The strongest boy. Not bad, you got the, let me show you. You got your chicken, you got your alu. There's about two pieces of chicken there, yep. Looks good. It is hot, so that means they like not too long make it on the spot, and it looks like they, they do that. Chicken roti. The roti by itself. It's a decent the tapri roti is soft and the curry is pretty good but this is not a roti hopping video so i'm just gonna show you the roti ten dollars roti is real good for ten dollars in my opinion let me head to maruga because this is all about maruga most likely probably just the beach 
You can see when we reach down there. But yeah. <laughs> chicken roti, $10. Jake's chicken roti. Can't go wrong. We ain't reached Maruga yet and we already got doubles and a $10 chicken roti. No, I didn't expect that one. I, I won't lie, I didn't expect that one. <laughs> the doubles, you know, I had to stop, you know, try acting here. But I just drive around like, wait, $10 chicken roti? Your boy had to reverse, you know, to get that one. So now that the belly is full, that way, head down to Maruga. We're still on the Maruga Road driving. Five minutes later. All right, so that's a bus. I mean, I saw on the way here, there was some protesting going on. Down here in Trinidad and Tobago, a form of protest, they'll normally block up the roads and burn some tires, burn some trees, burn some rubbish. You know, there's a way of informing the government of the day that, hey, we need certain things fixed here. So I reached a point where psh, the road has been blocked. Two weeks later, Yep, a few weeks later now, we on our way to Moruga. So there's no longer any roadblock or anything. So many roads still kind of bad, but they're actually doing some work now down on the side to fix some of them. So that's, that was a good thing. See, protests work sometimes. Anyways, we're back on the Moruga road, heading towards the church at the end of this road, which is right on the beach. Yeah. Now on these shores here, it is said that Christopher Columbus landed here. This is where he landed and this is where he met the first people. So this is where he basically rediscovered Trinidad. Somehow he got lost and ended up somewhere out there. Yeah, here is more the fisherman side, the fisherman village side. So that is why you have all these boats tied up here. They'll go out, they'll make their catch come back in. Yeah, and it's very close to the roads with easy haul back to shore after they do the fishing. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so where we're walking right now is not so much the beach area where people would be. It is beyond those rocks, those three rocks you see there. Yep. This is what erosion looks like. So if you ever end up doing geography and they're talking about coastal erosion, this is an example of it. Basically, where the seawater erodes the rock over a period of time. Now, on the next side of these three rocks is Moruga Beach itself, and we'll get to that shortly. But first, now what is that there? What is that? Too big to be some kind of fish bone, so there'll be some animal bone. Huh. I don't really want to know. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm in a cave, as you can see here. There's an entrance here. And as you exit there to the beach. By beach, we refer to the bathing side. Yeah, so this is the Moruga Beach facility, right close to the river. It's pretty cool though, it's real neat, it's real clean. It would be cool if you could keep it clean, but you know, not there. Certain things, apparently, us as Shrin Begonians. Fail to recognize this is our land. Yeah, but anyway, we in Maruga. We're at the beach right now. Maruga's beach. Now, the water is kind of like this color due to the soil type down here and how close it is to the river. But it's still beatable. All right, we continue our drive on La Rufin Road, which will take us back to the Maruga Road. Now, normally if you go on Instagram, most time if you hashtag Maruga or whatnot, besides the beach area and the, the Saint statue next to the church, you would see the Spring Bridge. So right now we up inside there trying to locate it, you know? So yeah, Trinbago vibes. We deep in south in this one. 
and of course the roads are horrible ah ow 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 now if you swing left here you will go back to the Moruga road but i believe the suspension bridge is straight ahead so let's go look for that river of hope peeps you'll pass a little fishing village and a few people who live in on the river itself and who make their living out of fishing but yeah if you want to see a real old school spring bridge back in the days kind of thing so the la Ruffin road will take you to the Moruga beach facility and it will also bring you to the last functioning spring bridge here in Trinidad built in 1899 whose main function was to transport cocoa out of the estates now that's pretty cool that's a new bridge there I'll see if this, this is the walk on the way taking a chance right now to walk on this bridge the old suspension bridge here in Maruga of course this is the good bridge on this side here <laughs> hopefully hopefully I don't fall in all right this will be a very short video taking my time proceeding with caution all right so this is beyond the bridge this is on the next side of the bridge and the road this goes further I don't think I'm going to, to go further than this spring bridge, you know? You hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already would mean a lot to me. And it will help with the YouTube algorithm. This one we in Moruga Trinbago vibes. Hope you enjoyed that one. Cause we done Moruga Trinidad. Check out this if you haven't seen it already. And I'll see you all on the next one. Agon, later.